I know I'm going to get made fun of this one, because I get made fun of this all the time, but I call these potsters, and that's what we called it back in Nebraska, where I first learned how to spin, and so it's just kind of stuck, but you're most likely going to hear these called cones, or carves, or some places call them figure eights, although I call a figure eight something different, so I don't really want to confuse that. But cones, carves, potsters, I'm sure there are many other things they're called, but potsters is what I'm going to call them today. So, to do a potster, we're going to start by going through all of the checkpoints. The checkpoints are going to be really important to make sure that you're in time with everybody. Um, it helps you make sure you're staying in the correct plane as you do this move. You want to make sure you're in the correct plane throughout. So we've talked about planes a little bit before, um, making sure that your flag is in the correct space um, that kind of surrounds your body and in the correct space in relation to your body too. So if I wanted to be here, I'm thinking of it being off of my hip, I'm kind of coming and jutting up this angle, this is not your posture. But this kind of helps define this plane that I want to be in. And this plane is going to look different than this plane here, or this plane here. So those are things you really want to keep in mind. Alright, so, for our potsters, we are going to start at right shoulder. So, for getting into your first checkpoint, you always want to think about rounding out your pathway as you go into this position. So I'm going to take a rounded pathway to my right side to start. So when I go to the right, I'm thinking about coming around. And I'm going to stop at this front angle here. So this is kind of a cross between my front present and my right angle. So I came through my right angle, and now I'm just coming to this front 45. I'm sliding just the tiniest bit um, down the pole so I can get that really good angle because my arms are not quite long enough to get that angle without sliding. That is your first checkpoint. After this checkpoint here, you're going to take it forward. So this is our front present. This is our next checkpoint. Our checkpoint following that, you actually are going to come off of your belly button. So I want to think about pushing this left hand over to the right side a little bit. And then I'm going to create kind of this awkward angle across my body here. You don't really stay here long, so don't worry about it. But it is something that you want to check through as you are going through your pumpster. So I've got this angle here. And then I'm going to think about pushing this left hand forward okay. and up. And then this right arm is going to come up as well. So I'm going into my back present position for this. So, reminder of the back present, I've really got that nice, strong angle here uh, with my arm above me. This uh, left hand is parallel with the ground, fully extended. So both those arms are fully extended as you do this. All right, so my next checkpoint from here, I'm going to go through flat. So I'm thinking about pulling my hands apart a little bit. As I come to this flat, this flat is going to be at my eyes. So I'm still all the way to the edge of the butt here. Not, I'm totally flush with it, not uh, wrapping, not exposing my marshmallows at all, just totally flush. So I'm at my eyes for this next checkpoint here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this left hand and think about pulling it above my head and pulling this right hand forward. So this right hand is going to be straight in front of me. This left hand is going to be bent above me. And this is the probably the most important angle in your posture in your posture to really think about. Um, a lot of people will make this classic mistake where they will not go above their head and instead they'll go over their shoulder, which is going to make this next part really, really tricky. And it's just not a good technique. So make sure that you're lifting that left hand to stay completely above you as you go into the shuffle. All right, so from here, you're going to move to your kind of next awkward checkpoint. And this, you're going to take your left hand, push it across your body again. My uh, right hand is going down toward my left hip bone. And this is across your body like so. So from here, you're going to keep rounding out 
of your posture. So I'm going to start sweeping toward my toes with the silk down here. This left hand is going to start to come over to this angled position and both of my arms are in a nice, strong box out position as I finish at a right slam. So this is where you're really gonna wanna lock in and end the move really nicely. Okay, so now that we've gone through all of your, I would call them kind of like your quarter checkpoints of sorts um, for your postures, we'll also go through what your half checkpoints are. That's how I like to think about it. I'll start with the quarter checkpoints so that you can really get an idea of the really minute details of what you need to do, and then take out some of those kind of crutches in a way, and do your half checkpoints, and then I'll move you to kind of like a fluid posture all together, where you're just kind of going through all the checkpoints, still thinking about them, but not stopping at them. All right, so just one more review on those quarter checkpoints. So we did our right shoulder position, my first quarter checkpoint here, second checkpoint here, third checkpoint, fourth checkpoint, fifth checkpoint, sixth checkpoint, seventh, and eight. All right, so now when I want to move to my half checkpoints, I'm just going to take out um, kind of the every others of those. So I'm starting at my right shoulder position. I'm still rounding through that first checkpoint, but I'm stopping at the second. And I'm still rounding through that third checkpoint, but I'm stopping at the fourth, rounding through that fifth checkpoint, and stopping at six, rounding through the seventh checkpoint, and stopping at eight. Now, if I want to take out the half checkpoints, I will move this to what I call a fluid posture. So you're going to simply think about those checkpoints, moving through them in the time that you need to, but you're not going to stop at them now. So you're thinking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze, eight. Now, if I want to do that from the side, do that too to show you. You're thinking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze, eight. And that is your right posture. So, I consulted my handy dandy sheet that I like to refer to sometimes after recording my posture video. And I left out a very key point that I really need to tell you about. So when you're doing your posters, we talked about not going over your shoulder here, but going above your head. Very key. But another thing that sometimes people um, struggle with is the angles. So when you're going into those checkpoints, it's not so much these angles, but it's when you go above your head. Make sure that you're keeping an eye on these angles here and here, and that you're not flattening those out. So um, you want to think about the structure of your arms, really detailing that, and you will, do not want to go here. Yeah? So really pressing above you there, maintain a really nice strong angle, and you'll have a really nice posture. Okay, I'm just going to go through the back view of your right posters or cones or carves, whatever you call them. And um, for that, I'm just going to quickly go through your quarter checkpoints, your half checkpoints, and then fluid, just so you have the back view of that to do it together as well. So we're starting at our right shoulder and starting with our quarter checkpoint. And the arm. wants to say hi to my dog. She did not like the camera. Um, apparently my dog does not like the camera. But the camera loves her. Hey doggy. Do you want to make a special feature in my video, Addy? Hey girl. Anyway, back to where I have to. So we're going to start with passing through one, two, three, four, five. Oh. Hi. <laughs> okay, back to our half checkpoints on our right hot stirs. Here we go. Passing through. 
through one, hit two, three, hit four, five, hit six, seven, hit eight. And now we're gonna make that fluid. Still thinking about our checkpoints though. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze, eight. Always ending nice and strong. Did you know that you can do postures on the left? Yep. So in color guard, a lot of times people will get really buff on the right arm, and a lot of things on the right arm. We don't want this like little baby left arm, so we need to even things out. So we're gonna go over our left postures as well, or cones, or carbs, or whatever it is that you can think So we're going to think about starting with this in a left shoulder position. We're going to talk about our quarter checkpoints first, just like we do on the right side. So you're going to round out your pathway, and you're going to push it to this front left angle here. So not my left angle, not my front present, halfway in between. So that's our first checkpoint. Second checkpoint, I am pushing it to my front present now. So that's what it looks like on this side. I have slid down my pole a little bit so I can get that nice angle on that checkpoint. Third checkpoint, I'm going to push my right hand across the left side of my body a little bit as I round out to this kind of awkward angle. That's what that looks like. And then I'm going to keep rounding as I lift up. And now with this angle here, I've got my, um, I'm in my back present. I've got my right arm completely parallel with the ground. My left arm is completely straight and lifted above me. So once again, it's really, really important that you stay above your head with your posters or cones or whatever you call them, um, so that you have a really good, proper technique. So when I go to switch this, I'm going to think about going flat through my eyes for my fifth checkpoint. For my sixth checkpoint, I want to stay above my head still, so I'm pushing that left hand forward and that right arm is coming above me. So I'm really thinking about punching a little bit to the sky just directly above my head. So this pole should be directly in front of my nose here. So from the side, this is what that looks like. You don't want it here above your shoulder because then you can't really get into that next checkpoint really well. So getting to checkpoint seven, I'm just going to kind of push that left hand across the right side of my body. Got that awkward angle there and then I'm rounding out to end at a strong left slam. So those are kind of your quarter checkpoints that I like to call for your posters. So let's just go over that one more time. So we're starting at our left uh, left shoulder here, and I'm going to round out checkpoint one, round out checkpoint two, round out checkpoint three, round out checkpoint four, round it out to flatten my eyes, checkpoint five, Round it out to checkpoint six, rounding to seven, and lastly, squeezing into eight. Now I'm going to take the halfway in betweens out. So we're going to go to our half checkpoints. So for this, you're going to start at your left shoulder. You're going to round it out. You're still passing through one, but you're hitting it two. Passing through three, hitting it four. Passing through five, Hitting at six, pay special attention to that one. That's the one that we always have to keep an eye on. Passing through seven and squeezing at eight. And that is with your head checkpoints. And now we just want to think about the checkpoints but do a completely fluid posture on the left. So for that, we're going to start at our left shoulder. We're going to think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze, eight. Something you also want to keep in mind when you're doing your potsters is that you watch out for your body. So your body, you don't want to move with this, right? You don't want your body doing this type of dancey stuff underneath. You want your core here to remain nice and strong. You want your shoulders to remain lifted. You want everything to be really strongly planted. So really think about what your body is doing as well as you're doing your potsters and keep that strong. So let me show you this one from the side. So we've got our left shoulder. We're going to round through checkpoint one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. And that's your left monster. Alright, we're now
now going to do the back view of the left posters, including our quarter checkpoints, half checkpoints, and doing it fluid. Here we go. Starting at my left shoulder. Or carbs. Or whatever you call them. <laughs> 